Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Can you imagine an earthquake that lasts for at least, if not more than six minutes? That's a scenario that scientists and those from IRIS are predicting from a nine point or greater earthquake along the west coast of the US. A prolonged earthquake such as that would be devastating for high rise buildings. And I've talked about the earthquakes up there in Seattle, uh, the potential for a dangerous earthquake for the Seattle fault line. When the Cascadia fault line erupted back in the 1700s, it was the entire fault line that ruptured. Scientists believe that major earthquakes of such magnitude happen along this area every three to 500 years which would mean potentially we are probably due for another major earthquake. Recently off the Oregon coast there was a magnitude 3.9 10 kilometers in depth a 4.3 also 10 kilometers in depth a 3.7 also 10 kilometers in depth. In many of my videos I talked about the Blanco fracture zone the Gordo plate the locked zone at the end of the Blanco fracture zone there in Oregon. The buildup of stress that these earthquakes here are indicating is happening. IRIS has a very good video that one of my longtime followers shared with me. You guys should watch this. It's called Pacific Northwest Earthquake Three Types. It goes into the six minutes of shaking the buildup of pressure along the Juan de Fuca and the Cascadia fault zones. This 4.3 occurred about 2.24 a.m. local time today. The 3.4 occurred about 11.09 there or 1.09 this morning central daylight time where I'm at. The 3.9 the most recent one occurred at about 3.03 a.m. Pacific Coast Time or 5.03 a.m. today Saturday December 28th. One person did report that they felt this earthquake. What would happen with a magnitude 9 rupture on the Cascadia fault line? All the tension that's built up and raised up the ground would suddenly move west would drop down and we got we got stories from the Native Americans talking about the 1700 earthquake how whole islands sunk and then the devastating tsunami so great with that tsunami that it traveled all the way across the ocean to Japan it's recorded in Japan in their um, history there would be significant damage even in Medford Salem Portland Olympia, Seattle, etc. You would be cut off from outside help for emergency services so you need to be prepared to be on your own for a while. And when that major earthquake does happen there's going to be a lot of death. A lot of life-threatening injuries where people could possibly bleed out before help could arrive. So it'd probably be good to have some first aid training don't you think? major ruptures of gas lines besides the fallen um, towers, different buildings, bridges would be down, major flooding from the pending tsunami and after six minutes of shaking the roads aren't going to be clear for a rush to higher elevation. And what about people trapped in debris? You know schools have drills to run to higher ground but do they have the drill to run an obstacle course over debris of fallen power lines, uh, bricks from buildings, overpasses, uh, yeah, everything that is on the side of the roads where you're rushing to higher ground. Um, do they have them go through an obstacle course that in real life you would have to run through to get to higher ground? And then comes the aftershocks all the shaking afterwards that would bring down already damaged buildings and structures. That's the reality of a nine point plus earthquake. Are you prepared? 
I suppose for many people it's too frightening to think about so they just much rather ignore it until it happens right yeah be the uh, um, Boy Scout the old model be prepared right I think people should if not for yourself for your loved ones six minutes of major shaking and then comes not just one tsunami there would be several probably afterwards so that's all I have for you to you know to dwell on to think about hopefully I'll get you guys prepared for something uh, disastrous and hopefully it never happens but uh, major earthquakes happen anywhere between three and five hundred years which means we are due for a major one along the Cascadia fault line and the Juan de Fuca fault line yeah and expect a full major rupture so what are your thoughts put your comments down below thank you for subscribing thank you for your support hope everyone has a very merry and blessed new year please stay safe and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye